What's up, everybody? You like me and you were frustrated with the transition from Arc Maptar GIS Pro? I mean, there are so many tabs. It seems like they took things you knew right where they were and they've hidden them somewhere deep in the recesses of the software. We're going to talk about five tips that will help you make that transition a little better. Number five is customization. You can do customization in a couple different ways. I like the quick access toolbar. That's what this is up here. You can right click a tool and say add to quick access toolbar and it puts it up there in the quick access toolbar. That's one way and you can also customize the ribbon. What you can do here is you can select a command and then you can see like copy has control C assigned to it. Clear has control 11, F11. This clear selection is one that I've assigned myself. If you haven't seen my mouse video, I'll leave a link at the end of this video so you can follow that to that video. That's number five, customization. Number four is drop downs. There are a ton of drop downs in ArcGIS Pro. Anytime you see one of these little triangles, click on it and see what it exposes. Take some time and go through all the tabs and see what all those drop downs show. Number three, Search boxes. If you can't find a tool or something that you know to do in ArcMap, go to one of the search boxes. They're everywhere too. The main one is up here in the main program up here. So if I want to search for buffer, gives me a whole bunch of commands, tools to help me with buffer. There are also search boxes on different panes, like here in the catalog pane, there's a search to search your project. The locate pane is itself a search box. The geoprocessing pane has a search box. Let's search for PDF to TIFF. There it is. If you haven't seen my PDF to TIFF video, you need to go check that out. Create Features has a search window if you're searching for a template. Modify Features has a search. Let's say we want to clip. There's the clip tool. So use those search boxes. That's number three, search boxes. Number two is right click. Right click everywhere. Right clicking things opens up a lot of things that you can do. Right clicking layers opens up a lot of options. If I'm drawing a sketch and I right click, there are different things that it opens up. And number one is hover. If you have a question about anything, hover. Hover over that tool. Like if we hover over the explore tool, it's like got a super hover tool guide. Hovering over anything tells you what it is and what it does. So hover. Every tool has something revealed by its hover. It tells you what it is. So that's number one, hovering. And just for kicks, I'm going to give you an extra bonus Yay! thing to help you out. See these little icons here in the corners of groups? Those are called dialog launchers. If you hit those, actually, if you hover over them, it tells you what it does. This one sets the selection options and it actually opens the options dialog with the selection options active. Most of these, that's what they do. They open the options dialog. Or sometimes they open the map properties like this one. They're a quick shortcut to the options dialog or other settings that you can manipulate in the project. So there's five tips to help you get used to ArcGIS Pro and make that transition a little easier. If you have a tip that you think is helpful, let me know in the comments. Be sure to give that like button a chop for me. Tell your friends and colleagues about GIS chops. Help me spread the word. And as promised, here's that video about the mouse. We'll see you next time.